representing the beautiful people. I want to share something real quick and then I'm going to go over to, um, to Facebook and I'm going to share the same thing. But this is really what's in my spirit real quick. Hello, how you doing today? How y'all doing? I wish I could see, man. Like, my eyes is so bad. Y'all got to pray for my eyes. But I'm going to say this really quick and I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna go over to Facebook. So if y'all follow me on follow uh, following me on Facebook, go over to Facebook. But I, I felt like I hey how you doing? I felt like I owe you uh, Periscope people um, a first look, you know, because I I think I always go to uh, Facebook first and, and share stuff. But I I just want to say this to you, right? When you feel like all hell is breaking loose in your life, and not so much even if you feel like it, but it, when you know that all hell is breaking loose in your life. And I'm talking about every time you turn around, you getting hit and you getting punched and you getting slapped, and you like, dang, like this is my worst hour of, of my life. But really, what it is with God is really your finest hour. What? See, so gotta y'all gotta have you block these people. Um, um, it's really your finest hour. Hold on a second. It's, it's, it's really your finest hour because let me tell you something I just got back from Atlanta and I had a phenomenal uh, two uh, I spoke at Savannah State and I spoke at um, um, Morehouse College for my relational tour and when I tell you by the time I got back to um, LA it seemed like everything that I was talking about that I was ministering about started to hit me and it's like all hell broke loose and in that very moment it was like I saw like even in my vocal cords, like I couldn't even, I had a cough that was so bad that I couldn't speak. And I realized that the enemy was trying to take my voice away. I realized he wanted me to stop doing the things of God. And one thing I recognize is that one thing, I, 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 when you look at the book of Job, like I said it to you guys before, Satan was after Job's uh, confession. And I recognized that my confession began to stop with God. And so I, I, I decided that Though I'm being attacked, though all these things are happening, God, I must be close. So because I'm close, I'm going to continue to worship and praise your holy name. I'm going to continue to give you everything that I got because I ain't got nothing to lose right now. I don't care how bad it looks, how difficult it may be, I am, I am close. And I'm telling you guys, man, don't let your confession be the opposite of, of what God destined for it to be. And in that moment, you give God praise. So I said, you know what? Yesterday, I decided, I said, instead of me feeling sorry for myself and moping around and saying, God, why me, why me, I'm telling God to stop, I said, I'm going to open my mouth even louder. I'm going to create the sound of heaven on earth, no matter what it looks like. And guess what? I didn't feel like it. I didn't want to do it, but I decided and I made a commitment that when I'm following God, that I'm going to give him my all because his, my all is not dictated on how God blesses me in terms of make me feel good because every day God ain't going to make me feel good. But in his grace, I in his grace I find peace in his grace I find love in his grace I find protection so in that moment I decided to work up a praise man and I'm telling you I was crying my my, my uh, grandfather passed away on 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 Friday and I was like God really I haven't even seen my grandfather in years and I just decided that I wanted to go see him and you take him away from me on Friday so I was broken I was sad I was I was depressed man like just just going through it and I recognized and I never give Satan glory. I never give him credit. But I did recognize that he was trying to take my confession. And you know what I did? I said, devil, you will not take my voice. And because of that, whatever you throw at me, I'm going to go higher with my praise. I'm going to go higher with my worship. I'm going to go higher. No, matter of fact, I'm going to make you even more mad because I'm going to still bless the people of God. I'm going to still give them all I got. I'm going to still pour into their lives because you're a liar. You are the father of lies, and the people of God shall be risen. We are not defeated. God have not left us left the righteous, and we shall rule the land. And I shall worship, and that's all I'm gonna do. So I'm telling y'all that y'all close, man. We are all close, despite of how it looks, man. I got too many opportunities that's coming my way to be sitting here saying, God, why me? Why not me? Why not you? And why not me to the point that though I'm going through tribulations in my life right now, I'm still going to say, God, thank you. God, thank you. And that's the beauty of it. God, thank you. I'm close. Y'all close. And that's how we got to live this life called, called um, uh, Christianity. No matter what distractions may come, you are too close to give up right now. You are too close, man. The, the, the mind is the devil's playground.
if we sit back and we let the mind get the best of us, we will, we will wallow in turmoil and depression and in sadness. That's why sometimes you got to get up out of this place. Get, up, get, get out of that room. Get out of that house. Sometimes you may have to go for a walk. Sometimes you may have to pick up the phone and call somebody. Even though you don't want to talk to nobody, sometimes you just got to take a moment outside and say, you know what, let me remind myself. You know what I had to do today? I had to remind myself why I was doing what I was doing. Was it about me or was it about the kingdom? Is my life about me or is it about the purpose that God designed for me to be on this earth? So I had to get up out of my, 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 my sadness. I had to get up out of everything, everything that was happening to me because really my life is blessed. Exactly. I had to find my way. I had to find my way once again. I had to remind myself why I was put on earth. And that ignited a fire back inside of me. And you have to go back to that place to remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing and why God calls you to do what you're called to do. And at the end of the day, I'm going to give him praise. All right. So understand this. You are much closer than you think. God is faithful. God is holy. God bless uh, Periscope. And I'll see you guys soon. All right. Talk to you later. And I uh, love you much. And I ask that you lift me up in prayer and know that you are close and don't give up.